Hey guys, I'm Geosphere, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sounds to your stream using Streamlabs Chatbot. Because I get a ton of people asking me, how do you add sounds to your stream with a command? So basically, what we're going to do is we are going to load up Chrome or whatever browser you use and go to streamlabs.com slash chatbot. We will download now, download this right here. You'll install it and when you get to this screen, you'll get to this when you open up the screen of Streamlabs Chatbot. It'll ask you to uh, to log in with your Twitch bot and your Twitch streamer. Now, as far as I know, you can use the same account as the Twitch streamer and the Twitch bot. The only thing is, if you add any commands, it will then make your main account say those commands. So say uh, I do exclamation test and i wanted to say test well my account will say test instead of a bot account that's what the one reason i use an actual bot account like gs trivia bot so after you do that it's as simple as that you go over here to sound files and i've already got one up right here you go and you can add it easily just with the plus mark you go to the right here so this basically is the name so I've got exclamation exactly. Now this votes means that it takes one person typing that command for it to trigger. Of course I have the video or the, the audio volume of it. The group is general. Um, this is basically which chat you're gonna be using for the actual command. So then you go down here to the sound file. It'll, you'll type pick or you'll, uh, you'll click pick, right? And then you will pick your actual mp3 that you're wanting to use and the one big thing is if you use an mp3 or any file it has to stay in that file and if it does not stay in that file or that folder it will not work anymore it will absolutely break the command so then you want to preview it exactly as you hear that so preview it again exactly so I want to make sure that this is my personal preference. This might not be yours, but I don't want it overwhelming when I'm talking if somebody is typing a command. So I want it to be about right here on my uh, my audio. So I don't want it to go into the yellow too much. I mean, it's okay if it goes a little bit into the yellow, but to me, that's a little too loud for me and as well as the stream. So. We come back over here and you can automatically generate a command. There's like a little toggle right here and you could set the permission. You could set it regular VIP plus subscriber, all that other type of stuff. Mostly mine is either everyone, moderator, subscriber, or the broadcaster. Anything else you don't really need. Um, and then you are going to pick the cost, basically your channel currency set up through Streamlabs chatbot. Most of the time I have mine set to zero, but it is a good idea to set a certain amount of currency so that someone randomly doesn't come into your stream and start spamming the crap out of every command you have. So then you'll have the usage right here, which is stream chat, stream whisper, stream both, discord chat, because you can't actually set up Streamlabs chatbot with discord. And then you want the optional response right here, basically what you or your, your, uh, your bot will be typing out to people so then you can go to the cooldown you can set it as high as you want 60 minute cooldown if you want to be a little excessive um or you could set the user cooldown so basically the cooldown is say i type that in and i'm just a moderator okay so then if i have it set to two minutes then nobody can type that command for two minutes so then you'll set that to zero and then if you set the user cooldown Basically, I won't be able to use it for another two minutes, but anybody else can. It'll just give them a two minute cooldown after they use it. So then after you're done with that, you'll just submit it. And then I have it set as exclamation exactly. So we are gonna tab over here, type in exactly. exactly. And boom, that's all it is. That's very, very simple guys. It's not as hard as people make it out to seem. Thank you guys so much. I do run a room around y'all that I do stream on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 p.m. to 11, 11.30 p.m. EST. Thank you guys so much. Hope this helped you. And if it did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. All right.